Okay, so now we're taking a look at the left side, and interestingly enough, we do see the superficial temporal artery where we expect to see it in layer three. Now, keep in mind, I said we're gonna be filling layer two. Um, so this is a great example of being able to monitor your cannula and be sure that you're above that SMAS layer where the artery is. So um, now what I'm gonna do, I'm showing you on the screen, we're in Doppler mode. And remember, when we're using a cannula, we like to be on B mode because uh, we don't want to see all that reverberation artifact when we put a cannula in on Doppler. So I'm going to quickly show you now when I have my probe on, we're going to see that this artery is on Doppler and then we're going to go back to our B mode and we can still visualize that layer and we can see that little tiny pulsation in that same layer. Now I'm going to put it back to power Doppler just so you can see what I'm talking about. Here's the artery on Doppler and now back on B mode, we still see it. So now in your mind's eye, you're gonna be visualizing the cannula going in the layer right above it, layer two. So there's our layer three, pulsatile on B mode. You can still see it pulsating. And then we're gonna be in layer two above it. So we've already marked the bottom of our probe. We have checked it in the wild. We saw what it is like in the wild. The bottom of the probe is here. Um, we've made that machete path through our jungle, we see what's ahead in the jungle. It shouldn't scare us because we're gonna be able to stay right above it. I've already injected this little spot with lidocaine. And so what I'm gonna do now is I've got my HIBA cleanse and I'm just gonna re-clean off that spot where I'm gonna go with that entryway to our point A to point B little jungle path. So just a tiny little poke hole. We don't need to be aggressive with our needle we don't need to shake it all around. It's just like a little tiny poke hole. So now we wanna make sure that our device is still on B mode because we're going to be kind of checking our depth. We wanna make sure we're layer two above that artery. Layer two is also a glide plane. So usually when you're in layer two, it's really easy to move the cannula in and out, but I don't use that as a test. I have ultrasound to prove I'm in layer two and I can see that I'm gonna be above the SMAS, and that's what I'm going to check right now, is really that superficial layer. So I'm gonna just roll my, my probe right over, and make sure I'm nice and superficial above the layer of the artery, and I'm in that sub-Q layer just like I wanna be, right through there. You can see that visual of the cannula in that layer two sub-Q plane like we visualized right before. Now we can kind of watch the, gonna put a little bit of the gel filler. And we can watch it go in if we want. We are just gonna lay that bolus. You can see that tissue spreading. And now that we kind of know we're in the right plane, I'm just gonna lay that bolus down here. And you don't need to be worried about it turning into like this little mashed potato egg here because you're just going to massage it down. A lot of times I'll just have them open their jaw, open your jaw and close it a couple times just to help it massage out. I usually massage kind of up and back to make sure it spreads nicely. And now we have our nice little bolus of an ultrasound guided uh, temple injection. How did that feel? Okay, great. So now she has a, a half a syringe on each side and we saw one side where it was a clear machete path. The other side, we had a clear machete path with a known snake beneath it, but that's okay because we were able to visualize that we're right on top. So hope you enjoyed.